Okay. Um, now we gotta try and figure out how to get the game working. We got it to capture a specific window. Uh, League of Legends.exe. Um. Oh, there we go. Cool, cool. Okay. Now we now we got the game back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 20. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Oh. Uh, I accidentally started it. Tell me when y'all get to 34 and I'll continue playing. Alright, cool. Okay, so output settings or audio output capture. Oh crap. Um, sorry, I'm. <sighs> crap. Here, can we move this over here? Sorry. Um, yes, we'll close that. Um, audio output capture. All right, here we go. Okay, so I have uh, NVIDIA high definition audio, Realtek digital output, headset earphone, and headphones for output. Uh, wait, let's try, uh, headphones. Alright, are we good? It... Really? Okay. How about now? It, wait, there's not even audio coming through, period, is there? Do, are we getting any uh, Discord audio? Okay. Property 
let's see if it moves. I, I double tap D. I'm assuming that puts it on to direct. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Oh, crap. That's... Um, I have desktop audio, desktop audio 2, headphones, maybe that will, oh, um, wait, does Discord pop up here, here, wait, I'm Uh, I just changed something around. Uh, how about now? Should be good in or well, let me transition it just in case. How about now? Um is this any better? I turned down the audio output capture, so that might be messing with it. I turned it down. So if they aren't hearing, like, anything, then that's probably why I need to mess with Alright, uh, I'm gonna start talking, maybe you can hear me. You can hear me fine on Discord, right? Yeah. Alright, fixed. I can hear it, I can hear it, I can hear myself. Awesome. So there we go. We finally have audio back. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Oh. You're really soft now. Okay. So you turn yourself up, and OP, talking?
The stream, I can hear you fine. I can't hear you. I can't hear Opie though. You can't hear me. I can't hear you in general. You might want to turn yourself up. I was gonna say I can't hear myself either. In the stream, that is. Oh, I can hear you fine now. You just want to turn yourself in Discord, but. Everything should be good. Uh, we can start casting now. Uh, whenever you're ready. Great. Alright, we ready to go? Yes. Alright, let me go ahead and... What time are we at on the stream right now? Uh, I... We are... Okay, go back to the other screen. The, uh, on the... I believe you got there by pressing A. Press O and uh, press yeah, U. Go back to the other the other screen. Don't... Okay. Yeah, All right. Cool. And now I can put the overlay on here. Awesome. All right. Perfect. And what I would do is, if you can stop at uh, press U and then press pause at ten forty five. I right, pause at ten forty five. Got it. How about you, Op? Uh, I had to look. I, my thing glitched out, so. I unfortunately got back in, and it's like 14 minutes right now. So just keep going. Okay, uh, we'll let you know. Uh, 14 minutes exact? Yes. Okay, I'll let you know we're about to approach 14. Sounds good. All right, cool. All right, you ready? We can go in and start. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, and sorry about the technical difficulties, everyone. We are now back in the game. Everything should be functioning. Opie, if you can go in and check the stream for me, if you can hear anything or everything is functioning correctly, that would be awesome while you're waiting. Sounds good. All right. Fantastic. Everything should be fixed. Everything's good to go. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for the technical difficulties. We should be good and dandy now. And right now, the timer is 11 minutes and 17 seconds. And the total score is 6 to 5 in favor of Season 10. And currently, they just captured a Rift Herald, if I'm correct, by Kane. And looking at the stats right now, we got the uh, 0 1 Orn, 103 Kane, 220 Timo, 311 Zaya, and 0 1 2 Zokan from Season 10. And we got Sejuani. <sighs> is that ta Jungle? Ch jungle to Sejuani? Shun top lane with 131, Sejuani 110, Tristana is not mid, like Auri mid, 200, Tristana 110, and Nami at 011. And nice gang coming in new to steal. Unfortunately, nothing's gonna happen. And Juice me, Juice by Daddy almost dies, but barely survives. Uh, the stream keeps freezing, by the yes. way. Sorry, I'm putting in uh, names and scores. Oh, uh, yeah. I, just don't worry about it for this game. We'll get that for the next game. We'll get that sorted the next game. Don't, yeah. don't worry about that. Because if you if you do that, it freezes the it's stream sometimes. Gotcha. Okay. Should be good. All right. Anyways, uh, for those who are watching the VOD or those who are watching stream, sorry about the inconvenience, guy, but everything should be fixed. And the next stream, next game should be a lot better this time around. Um, so we should, be, we should be good. Sorry about the inconvenience, everyone. But we're going to go ahead and start casting now. Awesome. So right now the uh, season ten looks like he has a slight advantage and nice trap coming in and forcing the flash by Orn and that's an Orn mid lane. I've been juked and nice ton flash coming in from literally commission a commissioner. But that team was that team was done. I mean, slow is gonna be is significant and Shen's gonna die in the tower taking two turret shots. Unfortunately, gonna die. Nice else play, but poor execution. Look at the current situation. Shen, it's not looking really good right now. Getting too bullied by Juice by Daddy on Timo. And here's a nice flash coming in. Try to predict that, but unfortunately, we are all bronze today, especially literally Nate. Uh, flashing towards the, um, and charming towards the uh, tower for the predict. But unfortunately, doesn't get it. It was a nice attempt, but fortunately, did miss, did not miss. Ignite will still finish him off. All right, give me timings. Um, all right, 1338, 39, 40. I'll give you when it's 55. Perfect. 
and Ari with a significant read and Neo is still coming in using the Rift Hero and going and getting in. Shen's gonna TP into Tristana and looks like nothing's gonna happen yet. Nice ulti coming in from Freedom Pagan and 20, uh, 35, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14 minutes. And turret planning has fallen, ladies and gentlemen, and Rift Hero has gone to waste. Pretty unfortunate and there's a TP coming in from Mudkips and they really want to get this down. Opie, do you want to do you want to be the um, color or PVP? Whatever you don't want to do. Um, probably PVP. Okay, you want to do that, or I? You're saying I should do that? I I'll finish this up and nice old come or coming in and and here it comes Needle Steel going into the rest of the team and gets out in the chest and a nice charm coming in from literally Nate and that's a nice month kiss with a three man knockup. Unfortunately, nothing's gonna get done. But Fruiting Penguin in the back line not being touched at all and here comes a nice stun coming in from literally Mike and cannot do anything under the Glacier Prison and that ends up being literally Nate getting the three kills with a six zero one as a KDA and that's really bad for season ten. Anyways, you can start doing PPPs now. <laughs> okay. <that makes> sense. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, what's your time? Uh, 15 2, 3, 4. Perfect. All right. Also, um, Parker, you've been super helpful. Thank you, man. Yeah, appreciate all the help. Like I said, hopefully soon I'll be able to get my, I'll get be able to get a streaming apparatus too. But it's nice that everybody, do. as we get an engage coming in, a Ooh. flash away, even though the knockup was missed there. Why literally, Mike? I mean, I mean that's a really safe flash, right? If, if you wanted to put it with the head, Ooh, right? It would have been definitely a kill coming in. So right now, literal team is getting good pink wards in to help try and get rid of some of these team mushrooms because that's going to be the key here. There are there's only one Ooh. more in the inventory of literal team, and they do. Oh, oh nice charm. Charm onto Freedom Penguin and literally Kamish almost goes down, Woo! does finally go down. A nice knock up there. So much damage coming in on both sides. The re engagers are coming out. Are they able to take down the Sejuani? They are just not able to take out Sejuani. Nice charm coming in on Daniel Steel. Doesn't get knocked up there. And it is a three for one. And two for he, one. Two for one. In the yeah, here's the thing about that. Side. But Mudkiss is really good at engaging. The problem is that Zaya is excellent at fighting backward. But the rest of the team, Neo the Steel and um, and the Rakan, really want to fight, start fighting forward instead of like fighting backward. And Zion's gonna have a really difficulty setting up the feathers unless you are already prepared before the fight. So having the feather as a um, fighting tool is the positioning for that is gonna be extremely important. Oh, here comes the Ornhorn over. Gonna hit three people. Neo the Steel does get over the wall and steals the dragon away. Nobody comes in, but then a Shroom takes out the Sejuani in the. The mid lane. Dude, I told you the mad lad, the Neo to steal himself, the came one trick, the jungle menace in the gold division comes in and steals the mountain drake. It, it's a mountain I, drake, right? I'd have to go take a look there. I'd, it looked like literally Mike Smite was down at that time. So, kind of a knowing that Kane was still alive, kind of a uh, scary thing to try and go for. It, it could have been that literally Mike just smited early. I'm not sure. I would have to go take a look back at that, but. What a play from Neil to steal your drag. What a absolute bad lead. And right now, Ken is looking around for Rift Herald, but it's not gonna, it's gonna look, not look for the end. All right now, what the uh, season team want to do, they got advantage, they got the gold, but they gotta just have to be really careful of literally Nate. Once the literally Nate is down as Ari, which is already hard to do because it's Ari, uh, they can go and in engage. That's w mainly where their damage source is. And until Ari's gonna have to try to carry until late game where Tristana has all the damage and range in order to carry the fight. But until then, Ari with the 702 KDA is doing an excellent job pacing the game for literally team name. And season 10, um, they got excellent engages, but the execution has to be pretty good in order to make sure the uh, Ari doesn't assassinate anyone because how strong she is. Yeah, big ish key thing is literal team ha is really good uh, on finding the picks with a Sejuani and mm. an Ari there. And then you'll have the backup coming in to try and save the life of the Tristana as well with Shen. So you've got that mm -hmm. little bit of safety, but you've got, oh, the charm coming in on to Revan and just going to be instantly dead. And that's Nothing what I'm talking about. about that. And that's what I'm talking about right there. It's like the setting up. Ari is setting the pace. Nice charm coming in by Ari under the bush when it's not warded. You can't just walk in like that. Otherwise, you're just going to get bam, boozled immediately. 
and as literally Nate misses the charm. But you can't just, you know, walk into the bush without being warded. It's, it's a big risk you're taking. Yeah, especially into the enemy team's bush when you have no idea where they are. Yeah, exactly. And we especially, see the rush arrow popped mm -hmm. in the mid lane here. Gonna be able to take call. down this tower. It's a pretty good call, I'll say. Yeah, with you knowing that there are three people top lane, you'll get that tower. Ooh, Timo's gonna... Does get spotted out eventually, but they were already past him at that time. Trying to go aggressive, does get hit with the bubble. Oh, and you just see the uh, complete engage there. Juice me daddy getting taken down there. Ornhorn coming in is not going to land on anything. But, Wait, ooh, that... the Teemo shrooms. Ooh, that hurts, Half man. healthing Stewart there. And also, that's guess actually... what? You've got a Nami, though. So the heals come back in. You're kind of okay right now. The disregarding the team machine, but that's actually insane. Orange cooldown for the ulti, that's going to be pretty detrimental because that's one of their main engage tool for Season 10. Unfortunately, with that guy, it's going to be really hard to engage. And here it comes near Ooh. the steel. Nice flash away there from literally Commissioner. Knew that if he got tagged, he'd get ulted, and that would be a dead shin because you can't ult yourself. So... Uh, I mean, <laughs> that will be pretty busted. Ah, and right know. now is kind of very far behind. Only has Merc Treads completed, has a Bami Cinder, but no other item. Is building into like three different items here with the Long Sword, the Bami Cinder, and the Null Magic Mantle here. So, All right. kind Hear of a out. rough position for Shen. Hear me out. Hear me out. One of the Long Sword is going to be Serenity Dirk. Hear me out. So, uh, if it is, you're trolling. <laughs> of course, we're trolling if he goes Serenity Dirk. What do you mean? Uh, I, <laughs> at this point, he shouldn't have even been going for... Because I, I get the idea. He's going to go... Ooh, the Shroom hits onto Ari, but they don't have any reliable quick CC to stop the Ari. Which I think will partly be the problem here. Is you've got nothing... You've got the Ornhorn, yes. But you don't have any, like, instant CC other than Rakan trying to, you know, flash jump in onto the Ari. Which, once again, Ari's got three ult jumps. Ooh, Neil Steel going in on to literally commission there. All half health already. Hasn't even done anything. Neil Steel ulting right away oh and just going goodness. to take down the Shen. No armor or anything so far on Shen. Just that's, that's insane. decides to finish the Tia mat here. I don't like that call. It's it's past the point where Tia mat and you split pushing is going to be relevant, and then we see. Freedom Penguin gets the ult down, they get all of the CC, and they take out literally Mike here as well. That's going to turn into a dragon. They're looking for Ari in the mid lane here. I don't think they'll have a chance to catch up to her. Oh, the charm oh, comes nice in. Arm. Oh, oh no, oh, the flash! No! Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's rough. That's rough to see. But they are going to be able to pick up this third dragon here. It is an air drake. Not the greatest in the world, but... Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you say that Cloud is not great against the team? Look at, look at the Rakan. Look at Orn. Those yeah, two see, ultis here's, are here's detrimental for team there, But see, here's the thing: the ulti for Orn is already on such a short cooldown; Ooh. it doesn't even matter. And then just the CC there. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Teemo damage! Holy moly! Teemo only has. A Leandris and a Fiendish Codex for AP damage, and is still, you know, doing over two thirds health to this Tristana. Okay, let's go <laughs> back real quick. So, right Shen should have gone Adept and Help. That's my opinion. He should have gone Adept and Help, and he should have gone Ninja, uh, Ninja Tabis instead of the uh, Murtress. That's my opinion. It's a tough call because they do have a decent amount of CC, and Shen's going to be diving in. Uh, I'm okay with it either way. I could see yeah. it either way. Either way, I think you should but, have got Adapt in Helm as a first item. But yeah, in the, in this matchup, yeah, absolutely. I think you kind of forego the Tiamat. You're trying to look for the team fight here. The Tiamat is for split push, and good luck split pushing versus a team mode at yep. this point. And let's look at the, let's go on and take a look at the level differences. If you look at jungle, Neo the Steel level thirteen, while literally Mike is not even level eleven ultimate yet. And looking at the, but the uh, they're compensating with that with literally Nate level being fourteen and two above Mudkips. Um, yeah. <coughs> Ooh, and we see the Ornhorn coming in onto the Tristana is just gonna whiff, but is gonna get knocked out to the Shenold coming in. Nami wave is gonna go in, but Keegan is stuck on the wrong side of this fight. 
probably will get taken down here. Shen Taunt comes in really nice. Keegan. 620 ult in the back line. And then we see the Kane ult going on there. Is not able to pick anything up. The charm misses. Kigan, how are you alive? Nobody dies. Not Keegan. one single person dies. Shen goes to TP back to the bot lane. And that was a 4v5. Okay. That bad line Keegan freedom. Oh, should no. have been dead. Oh, that's a lot of damage. It was close. The stun didn't quite hit, was just on the outside. Looks like Mudkips is trying to get in and engage here. Is not going to be able to get there. While the Ornhorn's on a short cooldown, it is not up yet. Oh, but you've got Neil the Steel coming in here. Ooh. He's going to miss, Ooh. just miss the knockup, but forces the flashes out. <coughs> Lots of summoners having to be burned on the side of literal team name. Oh, Ooh, here comes little Kusher oh, comes in. It is going to no. die. You just Aggressive can. taunt in. Could have. Oh, then you see Revan going in and is just going to die. Misses the knockup and then is just going to get immediately CC'd to his death. Here's the thing they don't need to do anything. Right now, Zyra's pushing bot lane and she's got plenty of gold over <laughs> there right now. And all, all she needs to do is for the team, captive, captivate the team in top lane. And Zyra, all we got to do is push bot lane and no one's contesting her. The only one that may be able to contest her is maybe two people in the team together or Ari by oh. herself. But yeah, you've if got any Ari. Is a big resource. <laughs> You've got Mudkips and Juice Me Daddy setting up here in the jungle, waiting for them. And f interesting enough, there's still three people from Literal Team that are pushing on this top side, looking for this outer tower here. It is one tower to five towers at this point. But they know. They know. They know. Oh, Juice Me Daddy might be getting caught here. Does not get caught. The Shroom. Oh my goodness. On the slows. I will and be it so looks like literally Kamish is on the hunt, is not going to find him. Is going to eat a Teemo Shroom for his troubles. And I will be so tilted playing against Teemo. I always get tilted oh, playing against Teemo. I, usually when I play top, I, I ban Teemo. I don't know how to go against him. <laughs> against a good Teemo player, it's so annoying. I don't know what to do against, against good players. Just not enough pink words coming out. You've got the two sweepers, which is great. And two people on the team at the moment have pink words. They do have a couple on the map, at least. Mm -hmm. But you've I'm got the Drake coming up now. And Teemo's on his way down to try and set up. So you need to get there as soon as possible to try and stop this fourth drag from coming in. Actually, Neil is still currently in the wrong side of the bed. And um, and right now he's working on the camera. They got to start setting up for the dragon. This is going to be pretty detrimental for the rest of the team because I believe it gives you movement speed when you press ulti and nice charm coming in. Charm coming in, da good damage coming out. You see the Sejuani ult coming in, not going to do much because they just don't have the numbers right now to be able to engage on them. You've got the Orn who is a tanky boy right now, does have the Infernal Mask now, the updated Ooh. item. Flash in onto the Zaya, but it's not going to matter, turns it around. Zaya is still going to go down in the end, but Shen gets taken off first. Nami goes down, and then Sejuani is going to be next on the list. <coughs> and you've got Neil the Steel, who's going in onto this Ari now, is going to get charmed up. Nice flash out by Nidalee Nate, Ooh. but it is not going to matter. Kane comes in for the cleanup. It is a 5 for 3 at this point. Neil the Steel, full health, able to get in there. It was a nice engage, but Zaya... Oh my gosh, coming out with the damage onto literally Kamish, forcing him out of the fight instantaneously. And after that, it was just a free cleanup there for Neil the Steel. And that's what I've been saying about the Kamish. Uh, the uh, execution of his flash taunt and the mechanics has been all in the point this game. <coughs> but the problem is he's so behind, he's not getting enough damage to follow up. Fortunately, the rest of the team cannot follow up either with the Akane being super fed. Team of Shroom being super annoying as well as Zaya damage. You saw Shen. Shen, by the way, is a tank getting completely bursted by Zaya damage, uh, which is pretty absurd. And yeah. you know what, though? At least they uh season 10 for them. At least they got um they got Ari, you know. <laughs> so I think that's more than worse, especially with the two teams, two members of the team left getting the force call Drake. That's going to help tremendously, and that's going to help a lot with Orm because once you use the ultimate, when they're slowed, you're going fast. Same with Rakan. It's going to be really synergizing with oh, that uh, quickness. Literally, Stuart doing a lot of damage with just an auto there onto the Teemo, but they decide not it's a good idea to go in because of the blind. 
really good there. And that's Storm Racer for you. Slowing, and especially if you have like a bruiser um, bruiser who's not mobile, well, you got to be set against the ADC because they're going to cut you all day, any day. And this is this is uh, interesting because you sent both bot laners on the literal team side to the bot lane, even though Baron is up right now, because they know that Shen can't do anything at this point against the Teemo. It's just nothing that can be done, so they got to try and send two. They are going to back off now and start heading towards the, that up top side. Mm, Freedom that's, Penguin that's... is having just just has the freedom to keep walking forward there. Because if he dodges a charm, if he can dodge the ult with uh, the Sejuani ult with his ult, then it basically means a free fight for him to be able to just keep auto attacking. Right, exactly. And with that being said, uh, before when the uh, the bot lane for the um, literally team name wasn't bot lane, um, I believe season ten should have just went in. There's no reason to um, go against the three v five in Baron as well as the. Um, just you know, fighting for the Baron is gonna be extreme, extremely important to close the game out. But unfortunately, I didn't do that. I'm not sh quite sure why. There was a good fight should have been taken in Baron, but I don't know what their call was. To be honest, they were just trying. It looks like they're just trying to clear. Out, they were just trying to clear out all the wards and everything on the map. Which Juice by Daddy has teleport. They're setting up wards for Baron right now. They just need to bait, get one kill one of the members down and all they gotta do is instant baron they cannot contest with the current team the biggest thing i can see here oh you see the sejuani ult coming in wide pulling an ex smithy here that is a hail mary that did not work that was a nice attempt though <laughs> and see the thing that i'm seeing from s10 here is that th i mean with orn with the move speed that rakan can get with the move speed that uh that Kane can get, they can engage from so far away. I think they just need to pull the trigger, like actually start pulling the trigger there no more. But this Baron is melting down. Oh. Oh, Sejuani flashes in. Oh and then no. Baron's gonna get secured here. Oh, lots of damage coming in though. <laughs> no, that's a lot. Cleanup that's so is damage. not there. They do pick up the Rakan, but that's it. All of the damage dealers are alive. Nami here is gonna fall as well. The ult comes in onto Kane, but Tristana is not gonna be much longer for this world oh my goodness that was one q timo's going for it is oh. gonna get healed up and it just doesn't matter takes the tower shot and takes the bomb still survives i can i can feel the five for one and that's a five for one and they have a and baron there. they're pushing mid right now and this might actually be the end of the game they can't really do to contest oh well, actually no no they can't do anything because fruity penguin is way too strong their damage delays are down and the two tanks and the um Responding are the only ones. The uh, only one that can stop them is literally Nate. But looks like Timo's gonna back and TP in here. More than likely, maybe not. No, he's gonna TP to the bot lane. They are not gonna try and push for the end here. I think they could have had it, but this could be the time for literal team to come back around. The nice flash taunt in. Ooh, Red Penguin just barely escapes there. Nice taunt coming in. Oh, nice flash coming in. And they're trying. Mudkips is still running. Can they do it? Oh my gosh. The slows and it peeled them into the wall. Meanwhile, Teemo <laughs> picks up the kill onto the Nami and is chasing out the Tristana. Just in the base. It's going to be a rough road. Oh, and that hitbox. I'm sorry. That was a interesting hitbox for the stun. Yeah, that's a, what you I know can, what to say. But... Teemo, Teemo's gluten. It got, it got buffed. <laughs> As it looks like the team's flaming. <laughs> uh, but yeah the Teemo was gonna die there kind of regardless I don't think he was gonna be able to work his magic out of that one no we could have tried though at least you know it's it's a, it's a rough game for especially for the uh, literally team name I think they had a pretty even game at the start but right now it's looking mighty rough and the other dragon is gonna be spotting very soon yeah and you see so you've got the Orn here who is upgrading items uh, you've got the Obizadon Cleaver coming in uh, for the Kane. You've got the uh, IE coming in, and soon enough, if he can at, get to it, I don't. Which I don't know if this game's gonna last long enough. Oh Team my god! Too. Oh my goodness, that was just a melt. Oh, Kane does not hit the knock up there. It doesn't matter. Freedom Penguin is running outside. down Shen, trying to get in there. That's a lot of damage. They don't, they don't even need Elder. Elders right now is like icing on the cake. Uh, cake. They just gotta go in with the Baron uh, minions, 
all they gotta do is charge in. Literally, Nate, the uh, the damage that the literally the team name needed is proportionately down. Uh, Shen's is far behind. Tristana is not gonna get close enough to kill, and here comes the Orlandy. That was a nice ult. There and stopwatch is gonna take them out on the Ooh. foul freedom penguin doing so much damage here. 13, 4, and 10 ends the game. You got Kane at 8, 1, and 12, and Timo 9, 5, and 4. You got all the damage that you could ever need from that team. That is a GG coming from season 10. I hardly know her. That's a lot of damage coming in for Zaya and a lot of damage coming from Kane. Uh and we do apologize whoever are watching the VOD. Uh we did have a, a huge technical difficulty at first. Uh, so there was a 10 to 15 minute disparity between the games, but we got it all figured out. Next game should be smooth. But that being said, Zaya damage when you're ahead, <laughs> scary thing, man. Really scary. Absolutely nutty. Didn't you play on? Didn't you play Zaya? Also, uh, how does the um, Zaya versus Tristana matchup? Is there Tristana one trick? Oh, early it's great for Zaya. Zaya is a very strong early game. Uh, the biggest problem with Zaya early is like if you're in like a Caitlyn matchup or a Jin matchup it's not as good early uh simply just because makes sense they've got the skills that are like you know you can Jin Q right on top of you you got the little extra damage early but yeah into if you, if you have an aggressive support with Tristana it it's great because you can just jump on top of the Zaya but Zaya trades back super well early especially with the feathers you land the feathers Tristana dies easily all right um while we do that let me go ahead and start generating the um MVP poll and why don't we go ahead and cut the break uh cut to break a little bit and so we can go ahead and save the bot purposes and that being said we'll be coming back stronger than ever at game 2 LTN versus season 10 we'll be right back All right, Mad Lads, we did it. All right, Parker, that was game one. All right, we did it.